I've got nothing to prove. But this fight, my legacy is at stake. People are only going to remember me for this fight. Well, Flash certainly has proved his toughness. He says he can be knocked out. I want to finish this unfinished business. I want to right the wrong. I can't wait to become a champion. In the first fight on the build-up, George Groves was very irritating. He got under my skin. I'm going to come out, I'm going to meet you. Centre of the ring, first round. And I'm going to hit you with two right hands. I needed to let Carl know that he's in a fight. I needed to let the world know that Carl was in a fight. So I had to be a bit forceful, a bit bullish. I didn't think it would be big enough to capture the public's imagination how wrong I was. Carl Frotch was way up on his pedestal. He'd placed himself high and above us mere mortals. I remember getting in the ring and waiting to see a champion emerge to face me and I didn't see it. I saw Carl Frosch get in the ring and hide in his corner behind an army of security and I thought, oh, what's happened to this warrior? What a shock! Frosch on the floor for only the second time! Most people that get knocked down in round one don't get up. I got off the floor, clawed my way back into the fight, then did what I do, finished strong. Gutted. The referee made a terrible decision. It felt wronged and robbed. Leave it out. Give me another couple more seconds. So I like to uh, put him on the canvas, and um, I feel that I was robbed of that chance. But his time is up. It's my time now. I can't wait to get in there and relieve him of his belts. He's very deluded. He's not experienced anything at this level. I see panic. I see a man who's worried. He's got to face the inevitable, and that's to take a beating. I can't let that happen, I won't let that happen. And there will be a conclusive finish this time. <laughs>